Hi and welcome to another Married to Reselling video. I am Simon. I'm Faye. And together we're a full-time UK reseller couple selling on Amazon and eBay and also a little bit of Depop and Vinted and we buy from charity shops and auctions mainly. And we sell on Etsy too. Today we've got a 100% haul video for you. We were contacted by another reselling couple actually who were getting out of clothing and going into another area and they asked us if we wanted to uh, sort of clear them out of their clothing and over a few messages they were kind of finding more and more stuff uh, and today we went and picked that up. On the way we visited two charity shops, yeah. one of them's a bit of a fave. Yeah. I'd agree. And also then on the way back we sort of stumbled across two that I'd been to before on my own if I had never been there. Uh, it's a small town. Uh, and we got how many bags between us? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight really. So maybe four each. We will we will show you what we got. We're around the small table today <laughs> because our big table just obliterated when it was forty degrees or whatever. Yeah, just Smashed to came, shivering. Came home one day from the post office and it had just popped. Shattered everywhere. Shattered everywhere. So if you've got a glass table, don't leave it in 40 degree heat because this is what can happen. Or if you're thinking about Insert a glass picture. table, don't. Should we do the things that are on the table? Yeah, I got this can of. No. Yeah, nice orange squash. Uh, I grabbed this. It's a Harvard and it says on it programmer. Computer it's, programmer, doesn't it? Yeah, oh, I don't know. And it's um, CP53. And I couldn't find anything on eBay for it. It's uh, like one of those old style like set things with, <laughs> with like record and all that. Um, I remember these from, you know, when I was young. Uh, I couldn't really find anything on eBay sold or for sale. I did Google Lens on it and it came up with lots of models like Agfa or whatever of almost exactly the same build except for without this like counter Anyway, I paid 650 for it and I looked up like Harvard Electronics generally and they seem to do okay And I I looked at it and I put it back and then I grabbed it at the end um, So yeah, I was quite pleased with that Nice one picked up Put that close to the camera Um it's a Harajuku girl perfume um, I've had a couple of them and I think they're really, really lovely perfumes and so I actually got that for myself. Um, it's $1.99 um, they were like a Gwen Stefani thing for a while but I don't think she's uh, associated with them anymore for some reason. And I also got this vase, it's very heavy, it's an owl, it's glass, I uh, don't know who made it, paid £12 for it because I loved it and um, so I need to do a little bit of work. It's super heavy, it's definitely... Definitely pushing two kilos. Yeah, I mean it could just be a, t a TK Maxx thing, um, but who knows? But I, I find out, won't we? Watch yeah. this space. I grabbed Mastermind. So this was from sort of our favourite shop, and I'm sure I've scanned this recently, and it wasn't so good. Uh, but nowadays it's got a little bit better. So I paid three pounds. It says checked on the label uh, and it's on Amazon used at 16.99. Picked up this Muddy Fox uh, cycle jersey. This was uh, a medium or it's got an M on it for Muddy Fox. Who knows? Three pound fifty that. Monopoly Revolutions is always one to look out for. Really obvious white box with the revolution underneath the Monopoly logo. And I paid three fifty. Again, it says checked on it. You know that could mean anything. Uh, and used from twenty nine ninety nine. We're outside, as I'm sure you've observed. Uh, so there's a bit of background noise. Pigeons. I think I just had a baby crying. Uh, there's a dog barking. Plane. <laughs> yeah, there's cars. So uh, apologies, hope the sound is okay. It's actually kind of better outside because we get a lot of echo in the dining room. I do what I can with the with the sound equaliser to, to, to make that sound better, but hopefully it's coming through clear. Next up is this brand new with tags Helly Hansen polo shirt. Uh, that was six pounds, that's size medium as well. Uh, it needs a bit of a steam. That's two red things. So I've got five second roll, different colour box, which is interesting. Uh, I scanned it and it's the different colour box on Amazon too, like a darker red. 
Uh, so this used is going uh, from FBA from £12.30. It's not great um, in terms of profit, but I know it's a really good seller. That's uh, a very, very, very good rank at 6,000 in toys. I'll go a little bit higher and just, just wait for a couple of people to sell. And that was £2.50. Next up is this vintage Laura Ashley kind of like cardigan thing. Um, it's uh, It's been dry cleaned and I don't know what it's made of. Oh, viscose. Um, and I paid £4.25. Now this one jumped off the shelf at me. Did it? Yeah, so it was like a sign. I was looking for something else, it jumped off the shelf. I thought, uh, 500 piece, we, we actually do okay with Ravensburg on 500 pieces. You'd be surprised what you can get <laughs> for one. Um, and this is Crazy Cats in the Potting Shed. And it was 175. And the reason I wasn't, in, wasn't really looking at it was because the thousand piece were also 175. Uh, but anyway, new, it's 31.99 and used. Uh, 2420 with none in FBA so uh, yeah I was quite happy to pick that up look at these beauties vintage wow. men's swimming shorts St Michael Marks and Spencers made in the UK Ooh. and they were four pound they're a size large they've got a bit of sellotape stuck to them as well free free sellotape yeah uh, the me to you Ravensburgers always do very well this is a thousand pieces, it's all used, unchecked. Uh, this is 175, is the one I was talking about a second ago. And it's out of stock on Amazon. Uh, if I go back a screen, you'll see it says zero from zero, zero, zero. So there's no sellers of it. Uh, it's got a yeah below average rank, 384,000, but it's probably been out of stock for a while. 23 strong reviews. Uh, so that should do well. And we've just given our neighbour 13 puzzles to check for us whilst uh, uh, during the summer holidays so uh, we'll have a little load to send in in yeah. the next couple of weeks crocs croc sandals seven pounds these are a women's nine so i think that's probably a seven um don't really know much about croc sandals i had a look at them quickly online and they were worth picking up so they're obviously not proper crocs as we know them um, but still the same material. Uh, picked up this. It's brand new and sealed. Paid two ninety five for it. Now I'm, I'll never look at these kind of science experiment stuff. You know when they're used because you know they're used. So there's going to be all sorts going on inside the box. I would imagine. I never ever check them. But this one was new, so I had a look uh, and showing at for sale for twenty seven ninety nine new with Ooh. a good rank and lots of reviews. Brilliant. Sea salt, this green sort of t-shirty, it's got a little bow top, uh, paid £5, size 16, don't forget if you look on the care label of a sea salt item it will tell you what it's called, this one's called a hidden valley top, uh, not sure what I'm going to list that for, um, but yeah for £5, quite pleased with that. In, that, in that shop they had toast and a toast skirt that I nearly bought when I, I didn't buy it because I realised the price was £20. Pride and Prejudice. Two disc set, brand new and sealed, paid a pound. And I got this in the same shop as that science experiment and that's all I got. And that was the same shop that Faye got the vase and the Harajuku girl perfume and a couple of bits of clothes. Uh, and this one sells for 8 48 new. How much did you pay? One pound. Okay. Uh, new brand for me, this is a 100% silk top and it's day by Berger at Mickelson and it's a size 38 so maybe a 12 I need to double check that I can't remember off the top of my head but I paid £6.50 for it. So next up is Dingbats uh, it's the 1996 is it edition 87 sorry 1987 oh, uh, and we've said this every great vintage that one <laughs> yeah every time uh, we pick this up we always say it. I had to peel off a layer of sellotape in the shop uh, to make sure that the oh, I'm a ding that's winner badge is inside because if you pick this up, uh, if you pick it up regularly, you will know that it's quite often missing. So I paid £2.50 for it. Uh, the price has dropped a little bit, uh, 14 99 FBA. We recently sold this, I think, for 17 99 just in the last couple of days. Lampshade, this sort of 
pleated number. Uh, this was three pounds. I don't know what brand it is. It doesn't say. Um, be nice if it was like a Laura Ashley one. I'll do a Google Lens search for it and see if it comes up. Oh, <laughs> good luck with that. A Google Lens search on a lampshade. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Um, yeah, so I've sold a couple of lampshades before, but people seem to be doing quite well with them. I figured people um, are being careful what they spend their money on and are maybe looking for bargains for their home. So I'm kind of going down that route, I think. Uh, die Hard. A good day to die hard. What is that? Is that Die Hard 4? No. 5? I don't know. Uh, now these were three, I've got three DVDs here. I'll, I'll, do, them, I'll do them all in a row. Uh, there were three for a pound, which is the only reason I picked this up, because there was only actually one that I really wanted, and I had to check all the other new ones just to see. Uh, so this one, new 471 with no FBA offers. So if I put that in for like 5 99 it should take the featured box or the buy box. Uh, and that'll bring a couple of quid profit. Uh, so I also got with that, so 33p each was also <coughs> this one, and this is the one that I also didn't want particularly, uh, but four, £4.26 and none in FBA. He's a guy in succession, isn't he? Oh yeah. And this is the one, uh, Again, none of them were great, I don't think. Uh, John Richardson, Funny Magnet. See what you did there? No. £7.93 in FBA. And that was what again. did he do there? Funny Magnet. What's a funny magnet? <laughs> Never mind. What you, what's your next item? Pop it in the comments, please. Just, I'm not going to tell Faye between now, don't think about it, between now and, and putting the video out, editing it and everything, I'm not going to mention it ever again, but pop in the comments what that means. A kid's Birkenstocks, I don't think they've ever been worn. They are like a camo pattern. They were £4 and they're a size 31. Okay. Upwards, always a fave. Um, I was a bit... I was a bit um, I was a bit upset to see the price of this has dropped quite a lot as well. Uh, but I grabbed it anyway because I know it's just such a quick seller. This is the 1996 uh, version. The box is in great condition. Yeah, it's lovely condition. If it was battered, I just wouldn't have bothered. But also, I do have lots of spares for upwards. So if there's ever anything missing, I've always got it covered. Uh, but 1690 FBA used. It has been higher. It's been sort of averaging around 22 to 24 I, I think over the last sort of 12 months so it's dropping a little bit uh, but there you go I don't know if I meant I meant to price check this first before I picked it up and then forgot so I bought it anyway uh, it's a Colin Montgomery polo shirt I'm guessing he's a golfer yeah he is yeah oh that's good to know yeah and um, paid four pound that's a size medium as well when you said you meant to price check it what you didn't look at the price tag or... no i didn't look it up on ebay oh i see i see and we got the first duplicate i'll just put a spoiler out there this is the only thing i've got two of today of the same thing so there's another ding bats again i checked it the badge is in there and that is uh available for 14.99 and i paid three pounds again it's another one i've got spares for except for spare badges i don't have any spare badges i've got this next t-shirt it's an ed hardy t-shirt um from the shop where toast was 20 pounds and this is a size large and it was three pound 50. i do really well with ed hardy stuff it does go quick do you remember that uh, all those baseball caps yeah yeah yeah. back in the day yeah before youtube uh did you sell them on depot yes yeah uh mr and mrs this is brand new and sealed but it's a little bit <sighs> dinked uh here and one of the corners as well a little bit caved in there uh, which is a shame so i won't sell it as used like uh, as new it'll sell it as used like new now new it's 2161 with no fba offers and used 1750 so that's an easy 20 pounds and that was four pounds uh, in the same shop again i got an ed hardy shirt long sleeve uh, this is a medium and that was six pounds nice bird print and this was the last thing I picked up in our favourite charity shop uh, of the four that we went to today. And it's a TP-Link uh, modem thing. Electronics is not my strong point at all. But it was £4. It's not available on Amazon, even though it has been there and it's got lots of rank and uh, lots of reviews. Um, but I checked it out on eBay and we've got... There's a refurbished one there for £29.99. 
There's a used one that sold on bids for $5.99 plus post, and there's another one that sold on bids for $15.99 plus post, $3.75. And I looked at highest, um, and there you go, $29.99. I'm sure I saw higher ones, but maybe they're international. Oh, there it is, £53. So those were all pre owned. This is brand new. Is it not on Amazon? Uh, well, it's unavailable, so I need oh, to check Keeper. Right, yeah. So I, I don't check. So Keeper is a tool that you can use to check historic pricing and, to a degree, historic sales of items on Amazon. But it's not something that I go into in charity shops unless I've got kind of time and I really, really, really want to check it out. So, for example, if that was twenty pounds, um, you know, in the charity shop, I'd probably maybe have taken the time to look at Keeper to see what I get on Amazon. But it was only four pounds, so I just grabbed it. It's fine. I picked up some Fitbit straps. They're brand new purple one a gray one and like a light purpley gray one they were two pound each and they're brand new um don't know if i did the right thing or not uh we shall see so what would you do bundle them or just sell them they're individually? different sizes oh, okay. so one's large one's small oh. um i don't know uh, two are large one small the rummy cub recently i picked up the word one uh which was a mistake we did sell it uh but anyway that was 250 um, and that's on Amazon, really good rank, 87,000. Um, and that is from 27.99 on FBA. More Ed Hardy. These are shorts with like sort of leaves on or feathers. And they are a 30 inch waist. They're quite small, but they were four pounds and I reckon they'll go on default quite quickly. So that's like three or four Ed Hardy things. <laughs> All right, check this out, ingenious. First time I'd seen this game in this size. It usually comes in a bigger box and also the bigger one, when you scan it on Amazon, the picture on Amazon is a different color box. We actually recently picked one up. I haven't sent it to Amazon yet because I probably need to just sell it on eBay because it's the wrong color box. So I could probably put something in the condition note and say it's a different color it's box. A travel but edition. The thing is Amazon customers are very picky, yeah. So anyway, uh, I saw this smaller one. Uh, and it's the travel edition as Faye just said. Um, and look, now, you know, we're realistic, but look, look at the price it's at at the moment, 99.99 used uh, with none available new. Uh, I won't be selling it for that, uh, but you know, that gives a good indication that you're gonna get an easy 20 pound. Yeah. Uh, and it's that season, isn't it, for travel. Can you guess what I'm gonna show you? Can you guess the brand? Ed Hardy? Yeah, <laughs> shorts. <laughs> These have got like, I don't know if they're flowers. Oh, it's, is it a bird? Is it a plane? 30 inch waist again, so same donator. And they were three pounds. Oh yes. Now, <laughs> just answered my question. So I saw these mugs and they're Victoria Webster and they're 2007 special limited edition. <coughs> And um, they were just sitting on the shelf, and I looked them up on eBay, and they, they do they do pretty well. Um, I can't remember how well, like fifteen quid or you know. So you can have a look yourself. You, you find them really easily, actually. Victoria Webster two thousand and seven mug, and you'll find these exact designs. Um, and I thought, oh, I'll put those aside, and I'll I'll ask how much they are. I completely forgot. And when we were checking out, uh, checking off, out like it was a hotel. Yeah off she popped to get the box and I was kind of distracted I was still like scanning a few things um, and I didn't have any idea how much we paid until now uh, I paid five pounds I'm not I think I'd have still got them I think um, but yeah I completely forgot um, so uh, yeah don't do that mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> we've all done it right some chinos like camely color these are Bowden they were they're a size 20 and they were six pounds who likes a bit of My Little Pony? Oh, love it. And who likes eight book collections? Me. Uh, so this was only 2 95 and when I show you what I got next, after Faye's next item, um, I was really surprised that this was 2 95 because I picked up the other item first. Anyway, these are for sale currently on Amazon for £16.51 uh, in FBA, and that's used and new, they're £70. Uh, they've got a good rank, 49 reviews, really good rank, blah, blah, blah. It says requires approval, You're getting up more and more nowadays, but you just click uh, request approval and it thinks about it uh, and then pings. If that is happening, I'm seeing a lot of people ask this in Facebook groups, they're saying that I'm, they're, they're requesting approval 
and then they, they get re approval and then they go to list it and it re requests approval again. Just go on the desktop. Uh, it's a sort of known bug on the Amazon app. Right, so this one's a bit difficult to show you. Um, but they're curtains and they're John Lewis curtains and they're really thick, really nice. Um, I've never sold curtains before in my life. So uh, I can't say anything about them other than they were six pounds. That's a great help. <laughs> Thanks. So I grabbed um, these and this is what I was talking about. Another box set uh, of books, Blood Curdling Horrible Histories. I think we sold this one before, or one very like it. You get lots of lots of them with different with a different number of books. We've seen them many's... film that as well. Yeah. I don't know how many's in there, 24 or something. Anyway, on Amazon, uh, it's out of stock. Uh, there it is, 892 five-star reviews. 127,000 in books, which would mean it, it'd sell the same day. But uh, just to sort of sense check that, because they were £16.95, uh, even to the point where the lady at the counter said, are, you, are they £16.95? Are you sure you want them? And Faye's like, the £16.95, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah. I looked them up on eBay. Look at that. Someone's selling them new for £399.99. <laughs> uh, pre owned, £50 plus post and sold from 45 plus post. So I was happy to spend sort of 16 pounds, probably wouldn't have gone much higher. And you know, to be honest, I'd have rather have got, got them a lot cheaper, like more like the My Little Pony price. 20 in there, I think. You know, I'm gonna put them on Amazon. 100% uh, they're going on Amazon. I'll do them seller fulfilled. Uh, they're weighty. I'm not gonna put them in an FBA box to take up too much of the, the 15 kgs. They're probably three and a half kilograms, I'd imagine. Maybe two and a half to three and a half. Uh, so yeah, I'll do those seller fulfilled, but the only seller, uh, there we go. So I will probably list those maybe s probably 69.99, something like that will start at. Good luck. Thank you. Some more curtains, the same. These were £6 too. They're from John Lewis. And again, I don't have much to say about them. Something very different for me. Some wallpaper. This is Graham and Brown and it's uh, Alliums Damson. So I looked this up on eBay, um, Allium Danzen, not available, not sold. Um, but there are other Allium ones that have sold. Uh, and it's like two rolls for sort of 30 pounds, three rolls for 30 pounds, around that sort of price point. And I paid one pound 50 each. They're sealed, brand new. They'll make a lovely feature wall for someone. We did really well in that shop, didn't we? We just kept saying, like, when we go in a shop, if our hands are full, I mean, do you ever wish you had like a proper, sh like, like supermarket trolley in a, in a charity shop because, um, our hands were full straight away, so we always like say, "Can we put these on the counter while we carry on looking?" He's like, "Yep." And he was just playing a game on his phone, wasn't he? The guy behind the counter. I was there. Yeah. yeah, and then just like then you added to, added to it, then I added to it, and we just kept adding to it. And in the end, another member of staff had to come out and help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's horses going past, which means Snoopy's probably going to start kicking off in a minute. Oh, he's down the field. No, he's like, hey. Check these out. Look at these vintage beauties. And they're wow. like a turquoise, blue, yellow, green. They're curtains again. 100% um, cotton. Uh, don't know much about curtains, got to learn. Six pounds. Six pounds. Okay then. <laughs> so hope you get more than six pounds for them then. Yeah. Next up is Scattergrees. Look out for this one, two pounds, it says checked on it. Uh, and this is for sale used on Amazon for £19.99. Uh, if you've not seen before, you can, on the Amazon app, you can click into uh, here and see your gross proceeds if you sell it at a particular price. So I can put in my cost price there at £2 and it'll take into account all the FBA fees and it's telling me I oh, will make £12.30 pre-tax. Uh, so that's good. Uh, yeah, that's used and he's checking obviously, unchecked. You might have to hold this close to the camera. Um, it's a Gourmet Mickey Disney jug. Oh, I spotted this, didn't I? You did. You thought it was a mug, and then it was a little. Yeah, it's like hiding around the corner. Jug. Quite cute. Three pounds. Three big pounds. Uh, uh. Ed Hardy's looking after it. <laughs> good old Ed. Yeah. I always said he's a good pig. Family fortunes with Vern. Um, 
Is there a Gino one yet? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think there is. Uh, paid three pounds. It's got the old. There it is. And uh, this was. Oh, I said it. Three pounds. And it's available for seventeen ninety. What have we got next? Sea salt um, with stretch. Uh, some like uh, cropped jean chino y things. Uh, they're a size twelve, and they are called the Albert Key crops and they were £5.50. The original Beetle Drive. Uh, I looked for, a, I think I looked for a date on this. It's upside down. I couldn't see it, oh is it? Um, yeah, maybe a look, maybe you could look inside, but it's like well retro looking. Uh, and this was £2 checked. I don't think we've ever sold this. Um, if you find it new, £33.61, but used, none in FBA, and the lowest price is £12.90. I think we've sold a Beetle Drive before, but maybe not that brand, that packaging, or... Uh, okay. uh, £6.50 for a pair of Levi's. These are 511s, 32.30. Do quite well with Levi's, so they're in good condition. The backs aren't frayed. Um, yeah. Countdown with Richard Maidley. No. Richard Whiteley. <laughs> Richard Whiteley. Um, and that was three pounds. And that's available for 18 99 What have I got here? Can't remember. Oh, I had to look this one up in the, in the shop. The brand is called Patrons of Peace. Um, some of, the, of their stuff sells really well, some not so well, but I thought I'd give it a go. It's a medium and it was £4.50. It's just got Y2K vibes. I don't know. Has, if you say it has. Well, if I wore something like that in the year 2000-ish, yeah. then yeah. Oh, I like this puzzle actually. Highland Morning. It's nice. Uh, hot. And it was four pounds and it's brand new and sealed and is available from 16.99. Hot house of, house of Puzzles or House of Pancakes. Oh, yeah. International well, House, house of, of Pain. Pancakes. Uh, some more golf wares is Ping. And this is a medium. There's definitely a medium thing going on today. And this was 4.25. Nice. I've run out of things. <laughs> How many have you got there? Should I have done my DVDs separately? Would we have finished on the same? Have you got those? I've got four or five things, oh, maybe more. She's outsourced me. Yes, I have. I mean, um, you better make this counts. part of the video highly entertaining then. Yeah. <laughs> Lift and shake jeans. <laughs> I love it when I find those. Yeah, these Massive are... Massive grail bolo <laughs> banger. Are they? I don't know, maybe, who <laughs> New knows? New look, lift and shape Yasmin. Just trying to jazz up the video. Highway skinny, uh, they are a UK 26, uh, size, it says 16, but it's a 26 on the actual jeans. Uh, so they got it wrong in the shop and they are, the were, oh, just took my watch off. They were £6.50. Mm. Uh, so I didn't realise they were that size. That's good, it's better than being smaller. Um, there, get another one of my items out. Oh, this, this Ooh, little box. That? It's it was three pounds. It's all come out, uh, but it's solitaire. Oh, yeah. Thought it was quite cute. Yeah, nice. You can play that while I'm um, driving. Where are you driving? I don't know. Travel <laughs> solitaire, isn't it? Yeah, you can play it while I'm at football. You'll probably still lose. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Um, next is this Bowden dress, it's on the sale rail, it was £4, and that is a size 18, it's nice and soft that one, I think I've got two things left, get on with it, eyes or Guise, it's a John Lewis brand, and uh, these are men's shorts. They were two pound on the sale rail. They're a 42 inch waist. I'm still picking up shorts because we post quickly. It's hot for a while yet and people go on holiday. 
And then my most expensive piece of uh, clothing today is another John Lewis item, uh, brand new with tags and size 12, paid £10 for some dungarees. Mm. Um, does it got the original price on? Uh, no. <gasps> but I'll be able what to... A, what a finish. I'll be able to... Could have just made something up. Uh, yes. £74.99. What was your favourite pickup? Um, my favourite pickup, I can't remember what I got. Um, probably the Owl Vars, if I'm honest. Ooh. What about you? I'm going to go... I've got a few... A few I've got quite a few favourites today, but maybe the um, maybe the horrible histories book set because I think in terms of time for money, it's going to sell quick and it's going to sell at de decent profit. You know, even if, even if I sell it for forty pounds, I've made twelve, fifteen pounds. It will sell. It will sell really quick. But I think I'll get more more than that. I do too. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you get notified of all the videos that are coming up. We've got some good ones for you. And uh, I think we're done. Are we done? Yeah, that's all for now. Yep. See, See you in the soon. next one. Bye. Bye.